Good morning, everybody. Wow, the crypto market is absolutely on fire. So in this video, what I wanna talk about is, are we getting ready to start the next bull run? And I've got some thoughts on this. We really don't know yet. I think time will tell, but there are a few things I'm thinking about. Number one, we've seen this before where we've come up here around 43,000 and then dialed back here, right? Speaking of Bitcoin, where Bitcoin has went on a nice little run, but then it just comes right back down to like 37K, 38K, and we're right back to where we started, right? At least that's how it's been here in 2022 and really late 2021. Now, I will say this. We're sustaining that 42,000 mark a lot longer than we have here in recent past, right? Meaning, usually it's been like just a real quick flash in the pan and then we dial right back down into the 30s. But here, we have been up into the 41,000, 42,000, now 43,000 here this morning for a little time. So that's good. Uh, and here's the other thing too, traditionally markets, just the way they kind of turn, usually this time of year is a good time for bull markets to start historically right in the spring after q1 once you kind of get out uh, ahead of you know what the feds are going to do and, and once you kind of realize after quarter one where we're at right so the dust is kind of settled we know that crypto is going to go through this regulatory kind of transition period where we're going to wait four to six months to see what biden and his team comes up with here in the united states right we do know that but there are a few other things too to consider right Number one, we still have, you know, these geopolitical factors at play. Can we surpass or bypass these big things that are pulling us down, right? Inflation, um, even just the concerns about a recession, right? Uh, the war itself going on in Ukraine. Uh, it'll be interesting to watch. If there's one asset class, in my opinion, that could overcome it, it would be crypto, in my opinion. Why? We've already seen it. Uh, it's overcome a pandemic. And in fact, we really saw that it was a true hedge against inflation during the pandemic. Now, here's another thing that's coming. Perhaps people are going to have a little bit more money to spend in the coming months. What do I mean? Well, people get their tax returns, right? Uh, people are kind of already kind of situated their finances for the first quarter. They kind of know where they're at. Um, we'll have to see. But uh, I do like where we're heading here, at least in the short term. I do also like the fact that, you know, this little bit of a burst here in crypto has lasted longer than it has here in the, you know, uh, last few months. And I think here's the thing, guys, when it does happen, when this next bull run happens, it is going to be big. That is why I've been trying to accumulate as much as I can and going back to the highest conviction place. So for example, last night, I got more Gala. I absolutely love Gala. I think this is going to be one that breaks out during the next bull run. Just my thoughts, just my opinions. Crowcoin, another one, okay. Along with the Bitcoins, Ethereums, for sure. Uh, I've been trying to accumulate Solana, Cardano, Shiba Inu, okay. Uh, so that's where I'm at right now. Let me know all your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. I'm really hoping this is for real. I'm really hoping we can kind of get over the hump there's one figure to watch though too. If we get a close, okay, a close over 46,000 with Bitcoin, that will show me a lot. That will give me a lot of good feelings because that is going to be a mark that really shows us that we are kind of out of this current range that we've been trading in for quite some time. 46,000, first 45, of course, uh, we haven't really seen that yet, but then 46,000, that is the big mark. 46,000 for Bitcoin, then I think we're off and running in this crypto next bull run. Let me know your thoughts about this down below and I will see you all very soon. Have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Bye.